What happened last time? Uh, let's see. What happened last time? We were trying our best to go to, uh, Becca so we could tell her about Isabella being haunted by a ghost. But then Isabella decided to cross the street and then she got hit by a car for some reason. And now we're Hana, and now Hana and uh, her husband, fiance, are buying the house of Ermagard Mansion. Anyway, hello, my fellow diamonds and angels, and welcome back to the ladder. We last left off in the game. Isabella's gone for right now. We don't know if she's live or dead. She got hit by a car, and we are playing as Hana. And, uh, yeah, Hana was getting sick in the last episode slash stream of this game. And we don't know why. Maybe she got cursed by the house. That's not a curse. That's not looking at both sides of the street. Listen here. <laughs> she probably really should look at both sides of the street. Okay, here we go now. I think I could just press the space bar to advance the story. So I don't have to hold my controller now. The place is bustling with movers, carrying furnishings here and there, along with several trunks of personal belongings taken from our penthouse. Also, I'm doing a trying to do Hana's voice since I'm playing as Hana right now in the game. Anyway, Luke watches them like a hawk, making sure that nothing is handled carelessly or gets stolen. Careful now! I forgot how loud this game was. Hang on, let me tone that down. Oh my god. I know your pictures are framed by cheap plastic, but those are framed by African Blackwood and are one of a kind commissioned paintings. How do you know that, boy? Anyway, Each what? one is easily worth a lifetime of what you lot make. Man, I hate this guy so Luke, much. Luke, do the dishwashers go into the kitchen or the butler's pantry? Do the dishwashers? What? I'm so confused. What the fuck? Pantry about? buttercup. Uh, careful now. Careful. <laughs> that's Emma. Hot. Get him, Luke. No, no. You there, put that down. You do not manhandle a Napoleon Abueva. What did you just say to my boy? I can see the exasperation, and I have to send the foreman an apologetic glance. I can't read. I still can't read. Uh, everybody, turns out I still can't read visual novels properly, so here we go. Even Johans rolls his eyes as he goes by. Considering Luke is always like this during, uh, this pro- Like this during a project, Johans and I have gotten used to it. Poor Maddie Ann, on the other hand, looks a bit stressed at seeing the gigantic mess before quickly going back to work. Everything just has to be perfect, exactly the way he wants it. One little thing out of place, one little thing that didn't fit the image he clearly constructed in his head. And look, it's bent out of a shape. Sweetie, why don't we go and sort your suits upstairs? Because that's the most important thing to do right now. Let your Hans and Marianne and the foreman deal with the rest of the work. Yeah, just get out of their way, please. We have You're this, Mrs. Wright. Okay, good luck, Marianne. Yes, please do go before a blood vessel bursts. <laughs> yeah, get rid blood of Blood stains are so troublesome to clean. Oh, Johan, you're so funny. I love him. Anyway, taking by him by the hand, I lead him upstairs into our bedroom. That's been called a good organizer. No, Luke is being so annoying right now. It's such a nitpicker. Oh my god, this bedroom is so fancy. And they got a balcony. Also, what? They didn't get rid of that creepy painting over there, though, of the dead lady mistress. Uh, no, please. We don't need to have no spooks in here. Let me sort my many suits I don't own. <laughs> right? Hi, Alice. Oh, yee. Welcome to the stream, Piku. We're doing a visual novel game today. We're playing as uh, some richy rich people that bo just bought a richy rich house. Piku's here. Yee. Let's see. Watching Luke act like his life depended on getting this new move done is tiring all on its own. And to think I have a whole day of this ahead of me. I feel the bed dip beside me as Luke sits down with a sigh. Well, I can't wait for this to be over. Okay, so what do you plan on doing as soon as the moving part of the house is done? We're going to go leave this place because it's a ghost house? I don't know. It's fun seeing you all fired up. Here at home and not at work, you know. Oh, that's cute. This is such a wholesome moment. If not for that creepy painting above Hana's head... What? You know I can't always be home, Hana. I have a company to run, unless you've forgotten. Wait, what's the company that you're running? Please tell me, I don't remember. I haven't forgotten. You're the one who insists on being there to make sure each and every little thing is under control. Guess what, you have little, uh, what are they called? The uh, co-workers to I deal just, with things. I just really miss you sometimes, and I wish you were at home more often. What, what does Hana do for a job? I don't remember. This has been a long time since I played this game. Why, if you're not careful, I might go a bit loopy and I'll start bringing cats home. Yeah, please no, but there's too much rooms in this place for cats right now. You just calm down, lady. And soon enough, 
One day, you'll find yourself going home to a farm just filled with felines that follow you everywhere. Okay, she just said it wasn't fun! She's the first, listen here. Oh, don't bluff. The things which shred up your precious furniture. Uh, don't you mean your, our precious furniture? Besides, you don't even As like cats. Anna and Luke, how do you know? True, true. Dogs are infinitely superior here, of course. All right, you give me an essay on why dogs are superior right now. 500-page essay. But what about the wet dog smell? The mess? I'm not cleaning up after a mutt, no matter how cute. I mean, the same would say about any animal. Shush, so rude. I want to say something with, uh, wine, but I'm probably just confusing wine a bit from last time, huh? If you think about it, a cat would be better. Aw, oh, kitty, I want a kitty. 500 kitties in this house, please. <laughs> we laugh. It's not always uh, that we can just lie down and talk about these sort of things. I thought we were going through the suits, man. What are the suits at? To joke around as if we're teenagers again, with very little problem in the way of responsibilities and roles. The hair is- Ah, stop it, cat! Cat is knocking my stuff off of my desk. Please stop. Cat's bad. To hear his genuine, honest goodness laughter is a rarity. This is just the second time as of late. And I can only see it as a sign of good things to come. Oh, good <laughs> point. That's a death flag raising right up to the roof, please. I guess we could just have kids. That is, if you prefer dealing with soil nappies and sick as opposed to dead birds, mice, and litter boxes. Cat heard someone talking about a smack about the race. I know, right? Cat was like, nope, not gonna have this. I've already told Marianne about turning the second bedroom into a children's room. Oh, yeah, it's about time they have that talk that Luke doesn't want to hear because he doesn't want to be a father yet. I guess sometimes I don't know when I'm crossing the line. I didn't say that I'm a good comedian, did I? Not this again. What are you putting a comma down there for, boy? What? I... Doom can say it? Uh huh? I wasn't being serious. It's not oh, okay. something you take the piss out of. Uh, you mean joke about? Having a kid is a big responsibility, Hannah. Yeah, you guys are pretty young yet. Maybe you should think about that later, because I think it will take up almost all of your time, and you'll lose your mind. I mean, what? We've talked about this, haven't we? Yes. We... We? One? I don't see what now. not ready right, to be a I parent. I I'd always... probably end up killing the little brat by the week's end. <laughs> anyway, the only way I relate to that is because I help take care of my nieces all the time, so I lose my mind over that as well. Anyway, what? What? What am I saying? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying either. What should I say? Let's put a savey save here, and then we come back here. Let's see. Apologize for bringing it up. You'll be a great father. Yeah, I don't think he really wants to be a father, so whatever. We're saying that we're having having kids keeps the parents home. Wait, what? Oh, keeps parents home. Listen here, that's not true. I feel guilty, uneasy even, about bringing this topic up. This isn't the first time I brought it up out there, considering that we've been married for seven years. Oh, uh, here we go. But I should have learned my lesson. Talking about it has always gotten me disapproval. After all, this is one of the surefire ways to get Luke into a terrible mood. I'm sorry. Aw, poor Hannah. She just wants kids, Luke. Get over but yourself. But I do think you... Don't finish that sentence, Hannah. Just don't. Okay, fine, whatever. Just shut up already. Also, my mouse is on screen. How long has that been there? Anyway, what? We know how this discussion ends. Let's not fight over what ifs and if onlys. That's mostly the case of rich people. Wait, cat, please get off my desk, please. That's mostly the case of... Uh, but rich parents like them can afford made a butler standards for the difficult years of childhood. And now, right, Luke, so get over yourself. But what if we are going to have a family, Luke? What then? Yeah, what then? I just told you. No what ifs. But what if it happens? Then what are you gonna do? We Answer. won't talk about it until you're ready. Which is probably never. Let's not talk about it then. Ever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Kids happen whether you want them to or not. Blech. Anyway, what? The silence that follows is stifling. I avert my gaze from him. Favoring the new view for our four-poster bed over his embittered expression. I know how to read. Just thinking of how insensitive I am for bringing it up makes me feel sick to my stomach. We stay still. Neither of us dare make the first move to leave. Matilda crash from downstairs cuts through the tension. Well, <laughs> Luke sounds like somebody broke something. Oh, bloody hell. What is it now? Have fun, Luke. Bye. I can't get away for ten minutes without someone mucking something <laughs> up. That better not be what I think it is. 
<laughs> That's so relatable, though. I know it's only an 8 million yen vase, but I swear, <laughs> I'll... I, I gotta give it to Luke, though. Luke is super annoying, but his voice actor is, like, on par with his uh, personality. It just makes me laugh every time I hear him talk about anything. I don't stop him as he storms off, and he doesn't even bother to look my way. Achilles! Wait, what? Yeah, I can still feel his eyes boring into me. Alone, as per usual. I really should be used to it by now. I can feel the minutes tick by with just me lying there, feeling miserable and full of self-pity. I have rolled over to lie on my stomach at this point, with my face buried into the pillows when there's a knock at the door. Grumbling at them to go away doesn't work as a voice comes from the other side. Madam, the photographer from Luxury Living is here. What part of go away do you not understand? I'm relaxing here. Wait, is that today? Oh, yes. People had caught wind of our new mansion the very moment we left the open house. Luke had boasted he could acquire the property in no time and allowed a photo shoot for an interior design magazine to be scheduled today. Ah, a jump scare. No, this is not a jump scare. Listen here. You need to know. That's not a jump scare. Where there were complications and it took longer than it usually does In a us. minute, Hunzi. Yeah, can't you see I'm napping? Johannes, if you could at least make it through the end. Johannes! Tell them I'll be right down, Hanzi. Ha <laughs> ha, Hanzi. Oh, that's a beautiful nickname. Oh, I guess we're going to somewhere else now. The mansion grounds have been one of the first things to be fixed up, aside from the bedroom. Although it's still a work in progress, it had a promising start, and I can already see the flower patches. Luke's favorite daffodils stand out easily, having been transplanted from the pots that used to litter the rooftop of our penthouse. Why, if the moving crew thought that Luke was being hard on them, they clearly didn't see the landscaper on his way out. The man looked like he was ready to faint, and Luke seemed ready to kill him by the end of their discussion. Haha, that sucks! Hey, that guy looks familiar. It's Zach, one of Isabella's friends, who Isabella is missing. It is in the gardens that I see him standing near the flowers in quiet admiration. He is hard to miss, the hulk of a man that clearly did not belong, and that big backpack suit and suitcase he has with him makes him look much larger. It is a peculiar sight seeing someone who looks like he ha does. Wait, what? Who looks like he does handling little delicate things with such care. He looks up from the gardens and does a double take before a friendly face replaces his cern, uh, serene ex expression. Ah, I hate these words in the sentence. It sucks. The Hulk of a man. We're about to get some serious and... Oh, uh, no. I don't trust you. No. Miss Wright, yeah? Have that. Hi, uh, Zachary Steele here from Luxury Living, ma'am. Hey, what up, bro? Hope you wouldn't win too long. Uh, no, I was napping, so can we wrap this up? I gotta go back to my nap. But it looks like you're still moving in, huh? Uh, yippee yippee. Thought for a second there my calendar was wrong and I came here too early. No, everyone's just working. That's normal. Very bad. <clears throat> no, let's roll that back. The one and only. The one and only. Welcome, welcome to Maison de Right. So say that again? And yes, we've been in the process of moving in as we were delayed. But it won't be a problem. Let's get this thing over. Can't you hear my voice? We gotta go. I gotta sleep. They're just adding a few things here and there, and you should still be able to do your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the rest of your crew then, Mr. Steele? Zach is fine, please. Mr. Steele makes me feel like I'm a mascot for a cleaning <laughs> product. Oh, uh, what kind of cleaning anyway, product? Anyway, I'll be your one-man crew for today. Don't worry, been doing this gig for a while now. Okie dokie. You must be quite the veteran to handle this on your own. We've had a full crew coming into our penthouse the last time we were covered in your magazine. Very interesting. Veteran. Veteran. Oh, you, your words are too kind, Miss Wright. Hana. Hana. If I get to call you Zach, you have my permission to call me Hana. Hana, Hana, Hana. Alrighty then. Anyway, I'm no veteran, but I know my camera well enough to make sure this is a good shoot. You can trust me on that, Miss Rat. You mean Hana? Hana. Thank you. Good sir. Zachary Pro. I got an achievement. Monsieur something photography. For I can't read that. That's too far away. Anyway, Zachary proves quickly enough that I can, in fact, trust him. His skills with the camera. Can you stop taking pictures while I'm reading? And experience in this industry at the very least. He is kind and courteous, listening and following as I lead him around the house. A really nice fellow, and he treats our household staff well whenever we cross paths with them. I answer his questions to the best of my ability, and he is patient enough to answer mine whenever I get curious enough. For one, I ask what the bags are for. They are quite the magician's toolkit. From inside, he had procured several items to embellish the interior with. 
bowls of fruits, lemons, trays with pepper mill, stacks of cookbook, cutting board, glass canisters, filled with colorful nuts and grays, are brought, from a, brought in for a kitchen setting. For the bathroom, there are white towels, seashells, decorative soaps, there are other things as well, it's too numerous to count, all in that large backpack, it's cookies. Tricks of the trade. Uh -huh. Softens up a room, makes a place feel more homey, and fills it up with texture. That's a lot of stuff, so don't forget anything when you have to leave. But you guys probably have better stuff I can use for this. Maybe. No lights? Don't tell me all of these are just props. Looks like it. Well, I've got my tripod here. For things like these, natural light is best. Oh, that's very I'll handy, just have to set Dad. the shutter speed to a real slow setting, and as long as nobody steps into the shot, it'll look great. Okie doke, oh, Zachary. Oh, it's better. We go through the rooms one at a time, although we first tackle the ones that the movers have no business in <gasps> Ew, look at this! The ballroom looks so nice, though! The ballroom needs little preparation with its grand design. Although there was some trouble at first with the wide open space and the pictures being blacklit. It is in the kitchen that Zachary props come in handy. Considering how Johan's kept the place so neat and sterile, one can practically eat off the floor. Yo, don't do that, that's disgusting. We carry on, touring the house and taking pictures where we can, with exception to the rooms which have yet to gain any purpose or design. Too bad I can't take a sneak peek at his photos yet. Funnily enough, he is using a traditional camera. I didn't even know film still existed. But the way he speaks, however, I can see that he knows enough about his craft that I'm not too worried about botched photographs. I imagine photography must be a cathar... What's that? Cathar... It? Arctic? Yeah, that's how you say it. For him, judging by how at ease he looks while taking pictures. <laughs> there are small snippets of conversation in between the clicking of camera. He even goes far as to talk about the, the terminologies like shutter speeds and aperture when I ask about the technical aspect, even though I don't know anything about that. I can't quite see the picture as it is made, much like when I watch artists paint on their canvas. But just watching someone passionately practicing their craft, such as this is exciting in its own way. Going through the many rooms has been quite the exercise for the both of us. Now we can finally take a break, because this might be the last shot, who knows. Despite that, he has been so nice, and I find myself putting on my best smile. But as, uh, but it is as we're taking pictures in the floor that everything comes to a standstill for a moment. The gaming chair looks like Alice he has a hoodie on. <laughs> yeah. And the gaming uh, chair, hold on, we can show it real quick. Uh, the gaming chair that's behind my Alice Damon PNG was by, uh, hang on, I'm gonna pull that up. Our Gamma Witch, and the credits is down below in the credits section in my about area. But let's uh, let's move it out of the way so you can actually see what it looks like for a second. Boom! Woo! Look at this chair! Isn't it so nice? I gotta put it back on. Hopefully, I can put it back properly. Oh! 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 Almost got it! Almost got it! I got it! And maybe? Oh man! It will keep going back and forth from almost perfect. Come on, man! That hoodie looks amazing. It's not a hoodie. It's a freaking chair, man. Oh wait, hang on. It's gotta go like. Almost. Oh, oh. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Alright, lock that back into place and then we'll go back to the game. The gaming chair even has horns. Yee! And funny thing is, my old design used to have just regular red horns. Isn't that cool? So now it has a chair that matches the old design. Anyway, what now? <clears throat> just a moment. Oh, crap! No! Get the controls off screen! Anyway, what? And wings! Uh, no, the wings is actually on my PNG VTuber. Listen here. It's merely a split second when Zachary Rhythm is put to a halt. Oh, well, that's not good! Somebody do something! His finger doesn't move to release the shutter. Yet he also doesn't pull the camera away from his face. Gaze still firmly fixed through the viewfinder. His hands shake, and there's a slight sheen of sweat on his forehead. <clears throat> I wrote a character with horns once, and as well as another one with wings. Nice! Ah! It's a spooky jump scare. Zachary. Hey, Zachary, what's wrong? This is totally normal. Take my picture. No response. Zach, is something the matter? Yeah, take the picture. <laughs> it's Elizabeth. No, that's clearly not it. It's some weird lady from the ring, it looks like. Lowering his camera, he blinks and stares at something behind me before shaking his head. Turning around, though, I see nothing that could have gotten his attention. 
Oh, oh no, no, there, there, there's nothing wrong. I, I just remembered something that's all. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for the time. Uh, let's get here. back to the pictures. Okay. Can you move a bit more to the left, yeah? All right, sounds good. I struggled to respond this time. There's a sudden weight on my back and indescribable tightness around my throat. Because that's normal. Everything stops. And everything starts again as I manage to choke if out. If you're sure... I'm sorry to alarm you, miss, but your neck was bleeding, and there was fingers there, and there was a freaking lady standing behind you. Listen here, this lady is so dumb. How did she not notice this? I just don't know what just happened. It, it was probably just this dizzy spell. I'm fine. And he said he's fine. We continue at the same pace as before, although there's an unspoken agreement that we will not talk about what happened. 